Hey everyone, this is Woodsor. Today we are going to do Guild War with Anubis. So I'm going to show you the setup that I'm going to use. So Cupid, Revive, Goblet of Life, Ares, War God, also Goblet of Life. I'm going to use Demogorgon, more crits, and same here. Also going to use Michael, put Revive on him, and more, more HP. And Mr. Anubis, more crits also, and Axe of Strife, and I will be using my tree in case some heroes die. Also put Revive on him and Blitzcall, so he's gonna be immune to stun, since I'm not using any Pumpkin Duke. Okay, let's start. I hope I have some high levels here, I'm not sure, haven't checked. 184. Ooh, that's slow. This is also low somehow, I'm not sure why. Damn, we are fighting really low guilds today. Well, I guess we are gonna start with this guild. 184. He has some weird double evolved heroes. He does have a Michael. I'm just gonna use my Anubis. Let's see how he's gonna go. Cupid, now he's gonna proc. Took almost half the health of them. I'm just gonna play with two, two heroes in these guild wars because it's a bit too easy, I think, today. Unfortunately. There they go. Ah, he actually has a double evolved Skull Knight. So he also died. Yeah, now he's not gonna take crits. I know I can use my Ares, but that would be a bit too easy. Right, we have the Cupid proc. Let's see how he's gonna go here. Skull Knight is going hard on him. He also procced. My Anubis turned. As you can see, when he procs, he's taking no damage at all. gonna be pretty hard to kill him I think but we might actually die now looks like against a very strong skull knight one to one he's not gonna win yeah I'm gonna add some more heroes because because just gonna use my pumpkin duke and there he goes and now Skull Knight is dead. Actually, I used the wrong here. I, I shouldn't use Pumpkin Duke, but... Should have used Michael. So I'm gonna replace my Pumpkin Duke in the next one. Okay, that's a clear 100% win. No problems at all. I'm gonna change my Pumpkin Duke. Should be here. To Mr. Michael. Alright. Round number two. So let's see what he has. Double evolved heroes. Actually, double evolved Threadrake. So he do does have some health in his team. My little Cupid. There they go. <laughs> when he procs, he does so much damage. Now he's gonna go in. And they are almost down. And there they go. Hi, they have revive crested. So Anubis didn't die once so far, so now he's tanking Dredric like a champ. He's such an amazing hero. Every hero is dead, so I'm just gonna add my other heroes to make it a little bit quicker. Really too bad the guild warrior is a bit too easy today. So I hope the next one will be higher. Okay, there we go. Round 2 is done. Now the problem is going to be we are going to have to fight 150,000 about. So this won't be a challenge. Oh, he does actually have double evolved Skull Knights. Frederick. This is not a bad team. 
So let's put them on the side. Cupid. Yeah, he almost killed Trixie in one shot. And there they go. <laughs> Even Skull Knight died. Now this, this problem is going to be, he's going to go... Wow, did you see that? He almost killed Skull Knight in one shot. And there they go. And he proc, so he's not going to die. We need one more good proc here. Dredrick is still alive. Now the last revive, we need to proc. Ah, he didn't proc. Oh well, no problem. I'm just gonna clean this up with my other heroes. He's a pretty solid hero, I would say, for Guild War. I'm gonna ha revive him first. Here he is. Okay. Round number three, I guess. 152. I guess 152 is gonna be the one. Okay, let's hope he has some good heroes. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit too easy. I'm just gonna go nuts. I'm just gonna go here on the right side. Just gonna see how he's gonna do on his own. Wow, he's amazing. Look at this. He's tanking three evolved heroes. Revive time. Plus, they had an Atlanticor totem. Problem is, the stun towers are stunning me, so that's the reason I'm gonna die, I think. But, he's alive again. Okay, I'm just gonna clear this up. There goes the rest, and they die. And he's still alive, Anubis. <laughs> There was no way he could actually survive that, I think, with the stun towers. As you can see, the tree does affect him to revive, but quest sets doesn't, and the talent also doesn't, so there is no point in using a revive quest set on him. Reviving him again. And the last battle, I think we had a 148 or something, where is he, 143, yes 148, so what does he have, also all double evolved heroes, pretty nice heroes for his level. I'm just gonna do something for fun since we have a little gap here. I'm just gonna put him in here. I know it's suicidal, but we can do it again. Yeah, that was suicidal. Okay. So let's go. Cupid, now proc. He took like, I think it's like 35% of health from Michael. And he has a lot of health. Here comes the double evolved Skull Knight. Revive time. And proc. Looks like most of the heroes died. Pretty amazing, I think. And revive again. Yep, he's gonna need some backup for this one. Just doing some things for fun. Okay. Gonna put my Ares and Cupid. And there they go.
they won't have a chance this one. I just put every single hero out there because we all know they are gonna die, so. Revive again. And this is a 100%. Okay, this, so this was it. I hope you enjoyed watching Michael in Guild War. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.